my god, Martin won. Martin Fantastic. Won. He did, he did. And he won. This show was truly meant to be the last, and it, it's still going to be the last, I'm sad to say. What an epic show! Welcome back fitness fans! Today we're diving into the electrifying 2024 EVLS Prague Pro, where the bodybuilding world literally witnessed a showdown for the ages. Without a doubt, this was the best show of the year, better than Mr. Olympia, better than Arnold Classic, better than any other show I can think of. So let's break down the highlights, the poses and the emotional moments that define this year's competition. So the spotlight was obviously on two incredible athletes, Chris Bumstead, who came out of retirement to compete one more time just for fun in open bodybuilding, and Martin Fitzwater, who won 4th place at the Mr. Olympia in 2024. Both competitors looked really really good, both brought their A game, making this one of the most memorable battles in recent history. So as we all know, Sibam really didn't have a lot of time to prepare for this competition. After announcing his comeback, he just had a couple of weeks to get ready for this competition, but whatever Honey and Sibam did together is nothing short of a miracle. He looks really, really good on this stage. Bigger, fuller, still really ripped, and arguably the best on this stage. A lot of people actually thought that he will win this competition. In my opinion, I just don't see him winning this competition. I think he deserved second place and this is what happened. He took second place. When you look at the lineup at the top three, yes, 100%. He jumps in your face straight away because he's tall, he's wide, he is very aesthetic, he has a very small waist. But when you really dissect their physiques, you can see that he's lacking mass. Martin Fitzwater. 100% deserved to win this competition. He is just bigger, rounder, fuller, carries more mass, even though he is a little bit shorter. And then Sean Clarida, he has amazing muscle bellies, amazing roundness. Just, he is so short. He just doesn't look that he's a very good bodybuilder in the open lineup, just because he's shorter. So 100%, the judges did the right thing. Martin, first place, Sibam, second place and Sean third place. Especially here in this position when they are turning from the back you can really see that Martin takes it home. Just fuller, better hamstrings, better glutes, better density. He is the full package and actually he looks a little bit shorter compared to his physique from yesterday. So without a doubt yes he should have won this competition and he won it. And you can see in a couple of poses that he's actually, the way he's moving and stuff, he's, he seems like he's a little bit nervous. And he even said it that he was kind of scared because Siba might actually win this competition. He deserved to win and he won it. And I'm really happy for him. And I'm really happy for the sport because it really feels like it's growing again. And it really feels like it's in the right place. And it's a little bit sad that Siba is completely retiring. Even though I might be wrong, but I you still believe that he will come back at some point to compete in open bodybuilding. This show was 100% the best of the year. Like once again, he had like a very emotional speech at the end. Fans were going crazy. He was crying again. And these moments are the ones which really make bodybuilding amazing and bring the fans together and just make the sport grow overall. What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments down below if you agree with the judge's decision. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao. Fantastic, fantastic. What about it? Yeah. Martin, Martin, Martin Fitzwater, what a result. Fourth place at Olympia and he's won here today. Pro champion. Okay, Laura was right. Nice, nice yeah. paycheck there as what well. What a show, Giles. 30 grand as well. Not what a bad, show. Not bad, not bad.